All right, I got a quick video for you guys. Uh, just showing you how to uh, bend this hood latch back. So when you install your scanner, it's gonna be a, in the way, uh, depending how high it is on your, your bumper. If you have no gap in your bumper and you have it flush, and you have a, a scanner shelf, like I do, mounted your scanner to the scanner shelf, you're gonna have it real high up and it's gonna be hitting this latch real bad. So. When this comes down, it's about right here in this position. You can see about like that. You can see it's going to hit the scanner real bad. It's not going to allow you to shut the hood at all. So one way is to remove it and just toss it and don't use it. And just make sure you always have this closed all the way. Or if you want to keep it, you're going to have to bend this back. Depending on how long here from here to here your scanner is some of these are shorter if you get an led one from like a sidra his are real short um yeah and maybe there's some longer i don't know every everybody makes them a little different so depending how long that is and where it's sitting on your bumper is going to tell you where you need to uh bend this back so we could see i actually put this on here and put it down and i could I could see it was hitting about in this position here. So I gotta really bend this back probably from as far as I can go, probably about right here needs to be bent, which is pretty much the whole thing. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use a vise. All right, I'm gonna use a vise to kinda bend this thing. You can use a, you know, a, some uh, pliers or something, like something like, Let's see what I got here. Some of these or even some of them. Let's use these to kind of help. So let's kind of crush it right here a little bit. And so I need to bend this way back here. And you can see this is, it's not hard to bend this because it's like pretty thin. So, see I already started it out, the bend. You could probably put this in the vise um, like this and then just use pressure and push it back. There we go. Just like that. All right, see? There we go, there's the bend. And I haven't painted this one yet. I'll have to paint it black anyway. But now we'll check it out and see if it clears the scanner. Now you can see how it's going to look. So we know this is going to come down here about right here. So you're still probably going to hit here on this little piece. And that might be enough to keep you from uh, closing your hood there. Because it's going to want to push down and this is not going to let it. But um, I'm going to try it real quick, bolt it on and see if I'm able to uh, close it. There's not really an adjustment on this, so once you bolt it up, you bolt it up. There's no adjustments on bolting these up. So if your hood's really off, you'll know because this will tell you. If it doesn't line up with your uh, thing down there, either you have this on wrong or your hood is not where it should be. Okay, now you can see the way it's sideways. That'll clear most scanners. Uh, let's see if it clears this one. See, just like I suspected, it was it's barely hitting the scanner. Let's see if I can close it. Nope. It's hitting the scanner. Uh, it's hitting right here. 
So, I'll use one of these tapes here. Right there. So, what do we do? We could either cut this shorter, like I said earlier, cut this off real short. If you cut it real short back, then you'll have it clear your scanner bar. Um, you can keep bending it back, but then it's going to be kind of way back here at, at a slant. You kind of need the leverage to kind of go like that. If you have it real short, it's going to be kind of hard for you to, to lift it. So you do kind of need this leverage, but um, let's see, I'm thinking I can bend this back some more and I need space for the screw there to be able to screw it in. But I do like the look of that. Again, if I had this scanner with a little bit of gap, a little more gap, it would fit, but I think it's just... I have this, I don't have a gap in the bumper right now. I have it flush, super flush. See, there you go. So it, it does work. It's just that I don't have a gap on my nose right now. I have uh, added some fiberglass to make this thing sit perfectly flush with no gap at all. And when I do that, the actual scanner itself is kind of hitting the hood. I don't know if you could, it's too dark in there, but before it wasn't hitting the hood at all. Now it's like pretty much touching. The hood is pretty much touching the scanner, probably right on it. So that's why it's so hard to close. Some of you guys, it's not even a, an issue. Just remove this thing if you want to. Um, you just don't drive with the hood, you know, not all the way down. But yeah, that's how you do it. Again, if you want to, you can cut this back so you can clear the uh, scanner itself because you can see I've already chipped it right there, my bar, the paint. And this is steel, so i got to touch that up again. I have to repaint this. But um, yeah, if you cut it shorter, it's just going to be harder to, to lift it because it's going to be short. See, when you cut there and you try, there's not enough leverage. All right guys, so it's hitting, you know, about this much on my scanner. Um, if this is bothering you, like again, you can cut it here or you can cut this whole thing off. If you cut it all off, yeah, you're not gonna have a lever to lift it. All you gotta do is reach your hand in there and pull, push this back like that to release it. Put your fingers in there, pull back. There, there should be enough room, you know, unless you got super huge hands, fat hands. <laughs> But just kind of lift up on it and then you could reach your hand in there and pull up on that latch or pull back on the latch i should say because you need to kind of pull it this way to, to release it from that piece here so i don't know i'm probably going to leave it like that hitting the little scanner it doesn't really bother me all right after putting the foam on that uh, lever once you get it closed all you have to do is give it a nice little shove like this and it'll close just fine uh, but again this is if you're really gonna have the look of flush bumper um, if you're gonna have this look you're gonna it's gonna be regardless you're gonna have that little tight uh, situation there with your hood closing because uh, unless you don't have the scanner on the shelf if you're mounting the scanner to the actual uh, bottom piece uh, then you won't have the issue but if you do mount it to the bottom piece um, if you think about it, it's not going to uh, show, your light's going to be very small. Um, you're going to cover probably uh, three quarters of the light and you're only going to get, you know, one quarter of that light shining through unless you raise it up a little bit on that bottom shelf. But yeah, this seems to work fine. I like that look. I think it's all buttoned up now. 